The Frog Prince Long time ago, when wishes often came true, there lived a king with his pretty daughter. She was so beautiful and loving that the king always gave her everything, whatever she wanted. Father, I am bored of playing with my old toys. I want something new to play with. Oh, my dear. Since you are precious, I will give you the most precious toy that my grandfather gave me in my childhood. The king opened his golden safe and took a shining golden ball. Wow! Take this ball. It will shine as bright as the sun under the sky. But this is very precious. Don't lose it ever. Thank you, father. You are the best father in the world. The princess started playing in the garden. As the ball rolled down, she ran behind it everywhere. Suddenly, there came an ugly frog. Ugh! Go away, you dirty frog! I saw you from the bushes, and I am astonished with your beauty. Grr. Would you allow me to be your friend and play with you? Ugh! How could you even think of such a thing? I can't play with an ugly, warty frog like you. I'm the most beautiful girl in the world. Why shall I play with such a dirty thing? I can hop. I can jump. I can even swim and catch a ball. I am the perfect one to play with. I would rather play alone than touch a dirty frog. All disgusted, the princess went back to the castle to get rid of the frog. The next day, she came to play with the ball. She chose a lonely spot under an old linden tree near a well. How calm and pleasing this place is! That hard frog can't find me here. She started to play with the ball. She threw it up and caught it again. While doing so, the ball shined in sunlight, so bright that it dazzled her eyes. Instead of falling back into the maiden's little hand, it dropped to the ground near the edge of the well and rolled into the well. Oh no! My golden ball! Oh my god! It's so deep! I can't see where my ball is in this deep well. She wept and wept as if she could never be comforted. And in the midst of her weeping, she heard a voice. What ails you, king's daughter? Your tears would melt a heart of stone. She looked to see where the voice came from. Oh, is it you, ugly frog? I weep because my golden ball has fallen into the well. Never mind. I can help you. But what will you give me if I fetch up your ball again? Whatever you like, dear frog, any of my clothes, my pearls and jewels, or even the crown that I wear. Your clothes, your pearls and jewels, and your crown are not for me. But if you would befriend me and have me for your companion and playfellow, and let me sit by you huh? at the table and eat from your plate and drink from your cup and sleep in your little bed, if you would promise me all this, then I will dive below into the water and fetch your golden ball again. The princess got frustrated after hearing Ugly Frog's long list of wishes. But to get her golden ball back, she decided to behave patiently with the frog. Oh yes, I will promise it all, whatever you want, if only you get my ball again. As soon as the frog heard her promise, he sat down, out of sight. After a while, he came to the surface again, and he threw it on the grass. The princess was overjoyed to see her pretty plaything again, and she picked it up and ran away with it. Stop! Stop! Take me with you! I cannot run as fast as you! But it was of no use. The next day, when the princess was sitting on the dining table with the king, eating from her golden plate, there came a knocking at the door. Oh, princess, let me in. The princess got up and ran to see who it could be. 
But when she opened the door, there was a little frog. You dirty creature! How dare you come to my doorstep? She shut the door hastily and went back to her seat, feeling very uneasy. The king noticed how quickly her heart was beating. My child, what are you afraid of? Is there a giant standing at the door ready to carry you away? Oh no, Daddy, there's a horrid frog. And what does the frog want? Oh, Daddy, when I was sitting by the well yesterday and playing with my golden ball, it fell into the water and the frog came and got it back for me on a condition that I would let him be my companion. And I promised him, but I never thought he could leave the water and come after me. But now there he is outside the door and he wants to come in. King's daughter, open the door for me. You made a promise to me. Once you have promised, you must keep it. Open the door and let him in. So she went and opened the door and the frog hopped in, following her heels till she reached her chair. Thank you, princess. Lift me up to sit by you. The princess looked at him angrily, but again, seeing her father's stern face, he lifted him up. Ah, now we may eat together. The princess ate the food unwillingly, and the frog feasted heartily. Give me some more soup, please. It's so yummy. I have never had that before in my tummy. The frog cleared the soup bowl again, but morsels seemed to stick in Princess's mm. throat. Thank you so much, Princess. I have had enough now, and I am tired. You must carry me to your room, and make ready your silken bed, and we will lie down and go to sleep. Enough! You better leave the palace right now, ugly! My dear daughter, these words don't suit a king's daughter. You had promised the frog, so you must keep it now. Once a royal has given their word to someone, they cannot change it. This is our old tradition. We all have to follow. Ah! She picked up the frog with her finger and thumb, carried him upstairs, and put him in a corner. You better stay here all night, or else I will throw you in the dark woods tomorrow. I am tired, and I want to sleep as comfortable as you. Take me up, or I will tell the king. You horrid frog! She picked him up and threw him with all her strength against the wall. But as he fell, he died immediately. Huh? Wake up, you silly frog! Stop this drama now! The princess poked him with her finger, but he was dead as stone. She picked him up in her hand and kept weeping, and she softly kissed the frog. With all the wonders, the frog opened his eyes and jumped right on the floor. Huh? He ceased to be a frog, and suddenly became a charming prince with beautiful eyes. Oh my! Who are you? Where is the little frog? Don't worry, I am the same frog, and now... I am the prince. I will tell you the whole story. When I was human, I was shrewd and arrogant. Once I was hunting in the forest, killing the animals. Suddenly, a wood fairy came into my way. You pitiless human. These animals are not your toys to play with. They are living things as you are. God has created this wonderful nature, and you are destroying it. Have they ever hurt you? How dare you talk to me like this? Don't you know who I am? I am the prince of this kingdom, and this forest belongs to me. Every tree, every animal, and everything on this land belongs to me. Ignorant prince, nature belongs to God. The creator of this universe is God, not you. You don't have any rights to kill innocent animals. Enough, lady. Move aside. Suddenly, Wood Fairy became a huge and tall woman. The prince got scared seeing her. 
You arrogant human! I curse you to be a tiny frog! Now snakes of this forest will hunt you down for a meal, like you were hunting the poor deer for your meal. Immediately, the prince transformed into a frog. Oh, what did you do to me? I beg you, Wood Fairy, please forgive me. I promise I will never harm Mother Nature again. I will be kind to every creature. I promise. Please forgive me. I think you have realized your mistakes, but your arrogance shall not go unpunished. I will give you a counter spell. Yes, please, my lady. I will prove myself. You must search for a princess who disrespects the poor creatures and convince her to be kind to you. If you succeed to change one human's nature, only then will you become a prince again. The princess felt ashamed of being so unkind. Don't be sad, beautiful princess. Now promise me you will not treat anyone so disrespectfully. You will be kind to everyone. Yes, I will, Prince. Oh, that's great. Since you have decided to remain kind-hearted, can I ask for a favor from you? Of course, anything you wish. You are the most beautiful girl I have ever met. I am in love with you. Will you marry me, Princess? Without a hesitation, the beautiful princess said yes to the charming prince. With her father's consent, they got married. Every day, the couple feed animals and took utmost care of the nature's creativity. The wood fairy saw the couple's kindness and was very happy. Well done, my children. You have proved yourself as divine human beings. This divine humanity resides in every human, but those who awaken this nature become divine. God will always shower his blessings upon you both. Thereafter, the couple lived happily and blessed forever. <laughs>